Hello there, and welcome to this video. Um, this video is about uh, my new spool mount, which is a variation of a spool mount that I used right at the beginning of my 3D printer, um, of my Big Delta. And that is, um, the original design is by Soup, S0UP, S -S I think it is. Um, you basically have a bolt with a conical head, which is large enough to not pass through the spool, and then uh, this bolt goes through. Now in Soup's design, uh, you then have the bearings sitting out here in the shaft, and then they slide into bearing holders uh, somewhere, and in this case on top of the printer. Now the bearing mounts that I have on my printer, and I'll take you over and show you how that works in a minute, uh, rely on the bearings being in like, they rely on the bar here and not rotating, and that is actually why they have this knot on the end, is to keep them from rotating, because uh, the threading on here was eating away at the plastic holders over there. But yeah, so this has a really coarse, and I should have added a bit more uh, tolerance in the printing, but as you can see, I might have some acceleration issues. I'll just go check the camera, actually, to see how well in frame that is. Yeah, that's better. So, yes, as you can see, I have some issues with print quality here, as there's actually a, a spiral along the outside. Now, in this case, it doesn't matter, it's, it's still perfectly functional, but I think I need to reduce uh, acceleration, basically. And, oh well. Uh, for me, that, that's okay. So, also, a reason these uh, mesh a bit coarser than the uh, Designed by Soup is that, well, basically there's a lot less tolerance in this print, but it, it still works fine. On Soup print there's sufficient, well on the, on the previous one I printed, uh, the original one that I decided to get inspired from, heavily inspired from, um, it will actually rotate if you just hold it like this. Now the pitch is also more aggressive on this, I think it's 20 millimeters. this is 15 millimeter pitch in here. Um, but yeah, so enough jabbering. Why would you use this boot holder? Oh right, yeah, it has two 608. So because it relies on the bar being stationary. Oh, and slightly bent, it seems like. Oh, well, that's that's a bummer. <laughs> there we go. Rotates a bit better now. Backed off the bolt a bit, allowing it to be bent. Oh, oh well. Uh, the reason you want to use this is that when you want to change the spool All you have to do is just do this There we go Spool mounted <laughs> There we go um, No fiddling with running off, like the driving off this M8 uh, bolt all the way over this threaded rod, no, no fiddling with that kind of stuff, it's just a few turns of this, and I could have made the pitch more aggressive and and still had it probably work, there's hmm, yeah there's about one turn in this and that's why I went with that pitch uh, instead of the 20 millimeters um, right so I'll just thread this on, I'll go get the previous uh, spool holder design I used and then uh, show you the difference. Okay, I'm back and this is the uh, previous spool holder I used. Now I'll just quickly disassemble it, but the important bit is, is this over here. I didn't want to deal with um, having to unthread an M8 uh, bolt, uh, just like I don't want to deal with that on the other one. Um, so the way this is done is you just grab this bit, unthread it a bit, there we go, now it's loose, and then you can flip that lever up and slide this off. Take this out, take this out, and then you can change the spool. Now as you can see this relies on, on two cones with a bearing in each, and then this is a, a an MA quick lease knot I found in the Thingiverse. It basically has a few grooves in here and it's a bit too, bit too small and close down, and that means the the M8 rod will cut a groove in this. Now the transparent part I designed 
uh, I decided to print in PEGG and the blue bit is PLA. The, I figured the stiff PLA would make a good knot and the tough but slightly bendy PEGG would fit well for this which is a bit thin in a lot of places. Um, so yeah, I like this design too but it's just holding this here and sliding this on then sliding this on pushing this down and rotating it until it's tight, there we go it works but I really really just like the simplicity of not having to pull anything off of the runner, I'll have to keep this from rolling away okay, that's gonna be harder than I thought there we go apparently my table isn't level <laughs> Um, so, yeah, with this one, ta-da, and you can of course make this an arbitrarily long length, uh, and it'll fit any width spool, as long as the, the hole diameter in the spool is um, larger than this, which is about, well, if the hole's 35 millimeters or small, Larger, I think this would fit. I actually don't have a measurement uh, of this. I, th I believe the uh, the bearing is obviously um, 22 millimeters in diameter, and the wall thickness looks to me about three millimeters. So that's 22 plus six. Um, so that's 28 millimeters, and then this uh, threading around here is a five millimeter diameter circle swept along a helical path. So that's half of the, like, yeah, okay, so that's plus five millimeters, half of the diameter on each side. Um, so that's 28 plus five, so that is 33 millimeters. So yeah, 33 millimeters and up, that is the whole size it will fit for spools. So uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, I hope you found it interesting. I will have links to uh, this design in, um, yeah, in the description. So yeah. Thank you for watching and goodbye. So, uh, putting the spools back, I realized I'd forgotten entirely to show you how these spools mounted. <clears throat> mounted? Holy oh, shit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, basically they mount like this. It's just this, the bar you saw that goes through just slots into these two holders on the printer. And then the, uh, the filament just gets, uh, it's probably easier to show over here. The filament just gets scattered down through a bit of tube, which uh, which ends there, and then actually the green one is what I have loaded currently. You can see it just goes down freely until it hits my flying extruder, and from there on, it gets extruded. So yeah, just a, a quick little follow-up. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Goodbye.